Sales tax or VAT on silver is not a great thing. It just doesn't feel right to have your money taxed when you're putting it into something as real as silver. But for European customers, that is now no longer an option as VAT free silver is now a thing of the past. And other states and countries around the world most likely will follow or we'll see taxation on silver increase. What impact that will have on the markets, I think, is a really interesting topic to discuss. So today, let's have a good old rummage through this pile of silver coins and talk about how taxation on silver is going to affect stackers around the world. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. We've got a big old box of cool silver things here. It's also a memory box. A lot of what we've got in here has been featured on the channel, but it's also got one other thing in common, and that is that it's all sales tax free, VAT free silver. Now, taxation on silver is a hot topic, I know, and a lot of people in the US don't have to deal with it, but it is something that is coming in more and more, and it's creeping in more and more slowly, but surely that taxation on this wonderful stuff is going to happen. And in the European Union, we have now seen the formal closing of the European loophole, the Estonian loophole, I should say, for VAT free silver. So if you've been a subscriber to companies like European Mint or Europa Bullion or GoldSilver.be, there's a good chance you will have been having various different email blasts from them over the last few weeks with warnings about this. And it's now closed. So I wanna do a little bit of a commentary on taxation on silver and how that affects the premiums of what we buy, what it affects us, the stacker, not businesses, because businesses at the end of the day are gonna be VAT registered, they're gonna be big enough that they can just not worry about it. VAT is a taxation on the consumer. It's a taxation on you, the buyer. And whilst a lot of people don't like the idea of being taxed when they put their real fiat currency, sorry, real fiat currency, their fiat currency into real silver or gold, it is a sad fact of the market. But all is not lost because it does have a positive impact on premiums on this stuff. So let's dive in and see what we can glean as a British stacker that's had to deal with the inability to get decent price silver for the last few years. Of course, we left the European Union a few years ago after the transition period ended and we were not able to get VAT free silver anymore. And it had a big impact quite quickly. We saw premiums on silver go up. One morning you were able to buy silver VAT free from Europe and have it imported. The next, you had to pay 20% on top of that. Now there have been a few cases where people we're still able to get some silver from Europe. It somehow managed to fly under the radar of HMRC and the Border Force. Perhaps they were just dealing with so many different new uh, rules and regulations that they just couldn't cope with everything. But trust me, when you order something from abroad, it's pretty likely to get taxed. And I've had so many different occasions of buying small things from people in the US or people even in the EU now. Um, and it's just taxation all the way and not only taxation you get courier charges too but that all had a huge impact on premiums of silver so we did see this big spike in the premiums of silver after that date of brexit happened when we finally left so will the same thing happen now for for example european customers uh, who have been buying vat free for all this time perhaps from somewhere like the european mint which I have fond memories of dealing with them. They're, they're such a great company, such a great team of people. And, uh, you know, their uh, massive unboxings that we did with their uh, orders just absolutely propelled our channel. But now those are no longer really an option. So what happens to all of the buyers or all of the silver that perhaps you've already bought if you're a European customer? Well, the good news is that you'll be sitting on quite a happy little stack of increased value because if you are taking the time to find buyers on the secondary market, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be getting premiums back, including the essential taxation because now buyers of silver, and let's be quite frank, the way the world is right now, there are gonna be more and more people interested in grabbing hold of some precious metals, something real, something that's not just numbers on a screen. And it's only gonna grow in popularity over time. 
And if you've already got this stuff, you can look to potentially cash in or cash out of your position with some good retention of premiums. And that's, I think, a really important lesson for a lot of people. If you are just looking at the numbers of it and you go to a dealer and you accept their spot price offer, or you know, some offer a marginal amount above spot now, but you'll get a lot more if you just take the time. You've got to earn your money, but you will earn a lot more from it. So how does this relate to places like the US where we are starting to see more and more taxation of silver come in? Well, the sad fact of the matter is it's partly what's con um, uh, basically is partly what's contributing, that's the word I was looking for, contributing to the increase and the sustained increase of premium silver uh, in the US and around the world as well. Now for us in the UK, it's also going to compound, I think, the you know amount of silver premium that we have to pay simply because there are now no longer these little loopholes perhaps that people could fly over to Estonia and buy their VAT free silver and bring it back and then sell it and undercut the market. And in the US with more and more states impacting stackers by putting taxation on silver or having internet sales taxes on silver as well, there is just going to be this higher potential premium that will happen for the silver that you own. Now, in terms of the silver that you buy, should you even be considering silver uh, when it's taxed, when you have to pay 20% more on it? Well, the simple answer is it doesn't ultimately matter if, as I say, you have been considering how to get out of your position in it on a kind of secondary market, selling yourself kind of measure. If you just want to buy silver and have the numbers there to see what happens with it, then quite frankly, vaulted silver is the only way forward just numbers on a screen don't own physical stuff because the taxation on it is going to be a killer and that's something that a lot of UK dealers have had to really kind of crack crack up on in their offerings they have to offer this vaulted service now because if you do want silver in the UK you're going to be well for want of a better phrase just you know taxed to death on it the sad factor of the matter is and this is something that uh, a lot of people don't like the idea of taxation on silver has the horrible bonus of putting more emphasis on gold. And unfortunately, we're gonna see this gap between silver and gold, I think, continue to rise. We're already seeing it this week with gold just being that steady horse, that thing that does not shift. It's the, the real cornerstone of, uh, of big money's markets. They just don't, you know, they don't like silver. It goes first. It's the thing that people just want to get rid of before anything else. And unfortunately, gold is going to be the one that holds fire. Now, for a lot of people, that's fine if you can afford gold. But if you are not in that market, if you're not holding gold or have gold or can afford to buy gold, then you're left with the poor man's version, which is silver. And it only hurts. It's a taxation on the poor, which is really bad. And I don't like the idea of taxing money, taxing your cash shouldn't be, you know, putting money into this stuff and being taxed on it is not something that I agree with. And it's not something that's necessarily the right move to do. But of course, gold is just unobtainium for a lot of people. Even fractional pieces of gold go for ridiculously high prices. Um, and it's very difficult to, to break in. So taxation on silver, I think, is generally a pretty negative thing. It's something that we've lived with now for a while in the UK. We still find that the premiums on the stuff that we sell is pretty good. We can get our cash out of it at the other end, but it's not great. And it certainly has meant for me as a stacker not buying as much of it. And I really have cut back on a lot of the bullion grade stuff that I buy. A lot of, in fact, it's been, I mean, I sound like an addict. It's been so many days since I've bought silver, but um, I have not bought a lot of silver this year from dealers. I think I've managed to pick up the 10 ounce Tudor, uh, yeah, Tudor B Seymour Lime. And uh, that's it, maybe a, a few of the two ounce silvers as well. That's it, just to have on the channel, just to have in the collection. But the rest of it's gold and it really, really is that. I kind of regret not buying more silver when the times were good, but you don't know. This is the brilliant thing about this phrase. You don't know you're in the good times until the good times are over. So we'll take what you will from that. It's a, it's a sad old day, it is. And I look back in fond memory of a lot of the things that we've done on this channel that are just no longer possible, like big group orders of silver, being able to unbox thousands and thousands of pounds worth of silver is, uh, is sadly no longer an option for this channel. It just 
don't see an opportunity where I would put that much money into it or organize a group order. These group orders were, were something that was fun, that was practical, that was really good for my channel, but now it's a thing of the past. I guess we've got to move on with the times and we just adjust. And I will say that if you're in this situation, whether it's in the U European Union or in the US where taxation on silver is now a new thing that you're having to deal with and contend with and work out what your next steps are as a stacker collector, uh, I, my advice to you is don't worry about it. Just continue on with your own uh, personal goals for stacking if you want to hold for a very long time or if you just want to try and do some quick flips to earn a little bit of profit, um, then just crack on. Just crack on and make your own minds up. Don't worry too much about it. The life is, life is too short to sit there and cry and moan about things. But all we can do is educate ourselves, enjoy what we do and learn from our mistakes. And hopefully in time, many people will learn that buying silver with tax on it is not right. It's not right, and the whole taxation system might fall down. It won't, but we can but dream, can't we? So anyway, that's enough of my rambles. A big thank you to all of you out there who have stuck to the end to listen to me rambling about taxation on silver, and uh, I appreciate every single one of you for sticking by. If you have listened to the end, let me know down in the comments, because I always like to hear from my rambling society. It's always great, and uh, thank you. We're closing in on the 40K. We're nearly there, so if you want to get a notification of when we do a big giveaway, I might well, in fact, now I'm looking at this box, include some of these as the booby prizes for the giveaway, but we will do it at 40,000 subs, so make sure that you hit that subscribe bell if you want to get notifications. Otherwise, that's it from me. A big thank you to you all for watching. We'll see you on the next video, and as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.